Hello again folks, making a quick little video here to show a new cable option. In a previous video I had showed off this uh, nice new THB 6064H driver which puts out 4 amps at up to 50 volts to drive uh, NEMA 23 or even 34 size motors. Um, the interesting thing about this driver is that it is capable of handling the very narrow pulse widths that are put out by the standard um, Merlin firmware or Sprinter firmware in the uh, you know Arduino uh, ramps combination uh, controller boards that are fairly popular with 3D printers um, or you know wherever ramps or Marlin are used. Uh, the standard uh, driver that people doing this kind of work have been stuck with are these little Kululu drivers here. Uh, which are not good for a, uh, a whole lot of power. They're, they're okay for little NEMA 17 motors, uh, but when you get into 23, they kind of start to falter. You start to have to put heat sink on them, and you have to put a fan on them, and you have to start really worrying about the amount of power that they're putting out. So if you want to make a big 3D printer, you want something with a little bit more juice, you need to go to an external controller. And it's been hard to find one of those that uh, will actually deal with this narrow pulse width. Um, that the firmware wants to put out. <laughs> so, uh, in order to hook this up and test it the first time around, I made this cable here, which is a real uh, kind of a kludge, which I put together and, and I put some pin headers in here to straddle where the Palulu would normally be put in, and then I actually super glued a pair of uh, little connectors together in order to come up with something that could uh, just demonstrate that it works. And that's the sort of thing that anybody could make, but we wanted to try and provide something that's a little bit uh, cleaner, a little bit nicer implementation. So uh, my friend Luke over in Belgium came up with this nice little board here. I'm going to go ahead and solder one of these up for you so you can see how it goes together and how easy it is. We've got three here. Uh, for right now, it, because we're just introducing this, if if you order um, one of these drivers or three of these drivers, and you order the the standard single cable, um, which is this guy, this is what we're going to be using instead of this for the wire. Then I'll go ahead and throw in um, the board and one of the boards one of these boards and uh, the pin headers and the little connector that's necessary. So without a whole lot of uh, further gabbing, let's go ahead and solder these up. Basically what we want to do is, let's start with this guy. This is going to go onto the board right here. And I just want you to see on the silk screen, hopefully you can see that there's a little notch right there on the bottom. And this matches the notch in the connector. I'm not sure if you can see that in my lighting. So we'll just put that in here this way. Flip it upside down and set it down so that the weight is holding the component on there nicely. And then once we get a little solder, we'll go ahead and fire up our ancient soldering iron on the hottest possible setting. And very quickly solder this on. Now I'm going to demonstrate here the quote right way of doing this which is to not not go down the row but instead to try to kind of go back and forth and that is so that the heat does not build up in the component too horribly in any one section honestly with this particular connector it's uh, not going to be that big a deal you can melt these connectors but you have to really try. The correct way in all cases of uh, soldering things is to have a good hot soldering iron get on the component in the lead. So that was a little too long there. Get on the component, get the solder in there, get it nice and wet and done, and then get off of it. Don't stay on it very long. Heat travels through the medium, which is the metal, or the traces, and if 
you stay on it too long with the iron, the heat will travel through and uh, destroy the component on the other end. So once we have those soldered on, I, I want to take just a second to point out this little pad right here. These guys, this is the enable pin coming from the uh, ramps board and it's going over here to this pin 1 on this connector right here which is where it, it uh, is expected for these guys and what what Luke has done here is he's made this little pad so that you can either bridge that with a bit of solder or you can leave it as is now if you leave it as is there's no connection here between the enable from this guy and the enable from this guy so what's going to happen is this guy has a little pull up resistor his enable is going to be on all the time so as soon as you power up this is going to lock the motor supply power and this guy may get a little bit hot so what you probably want to do is to go ahead and bridge this so that then the um, firmware can actually control whether or not the motors are enabled and that isn't bridging so what you can do is just take a little teeny tiny bit of wire or something like that and you know what if I was smart I would just go ahead and solder it down first of course look at this I'm holding a wire and I'm gonna solder it on how dumb is that okay but guess what I didn't burn myself because I got on there really quick and I got off there really quick and that's how you want to do it I was I was very ready to let go of that wire so that I wouldn't get burned okay there we go on that put this little bit back here if I need it again someday and then what we want to do is solder these guys on onto the bottom and these are what's called a breakaway header so you put in however many you need and you just snap it and then the other set will go over there and that takes care of it okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack one pad just quickly get it soldered on each side I'm not gonna go on with the rest of it because I want to do a nice job here and have them nice and straight. You notice that those are just crooked as all heck. So now what I'll do is once I have it tacked in place and it's not going to fall out, what I'll do is just holding it in the back here, I'll go ahead and heat it up and get it completely straight. Let it cool down again. Heat this side up. Let it get nice and straight. Cool it back down again. Oh look, I burned the connector. Oh well. Uh, and we'll just make sure that that is about the right spacing to go into these guys. And it looks like it is. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and solder down the rest of those pins then on this side. And in the interest of speed, I'm just going to go ahead and hurry up and do it. Note to self, insert soldering music at this point. Okay, let's see if I need to retouch any of those or if we're all right on them. Oops, there they are. Well, see, now this one I wasn't on long enough right here at the end. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, focus. Focus. Focus, you goober. I oh, can't focus that close. Um, but that particular one on the end there is not soldered well enough. Man, I don't know why that won't focus. Come on. Focus. Very dumb camera. All right, so I'm going to retouch that one. It's not quite soldered all the way. Let's see if any of these other ones are bad. No, those all look pretty good. Shiny, covering both 
sides of the metal. And set it in here. Now you want to make sure that you have it set in there right way around. Okay. Don't do what I almost did there and just kind of cram it in. Uh, so right here on the board you'll see that ST and DI are marked. That's step and direction. And right here on that right there you'll see step and direction marked as well. Absolute worst camera for autofocus. So that is the right way around. We plug that in there and we are good to go. So now all we have to do is hook up our little ribbon cable. Nice thing about this is that the ribbon cable has a little notch right here. Can't possibly put it in the wrong way around. Same thing on this side. There's a little notch and we are hooked up and ready to go. Ta-da! Thank you much for watching.